Kal Kadosh, my dear friends at Wembley, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure that by now you would have heard the news for the closure of synagogues across the United Kingdom, our synagogues, the United Synagogues. And as the news came in this evening, and I was thinking about the message I could share with you all, I thought of the parasha this coming Shabbat, which we read. The names of a parasha are always very interesting to pay notice to. And this week's parasha is the first one of the year, which is actually a double parasha. We have two parashiyot this Shabbat, Vayakhel and Pekudeh. The word Vayakhel comes from the root Kahal, Kehila, Congregation and Community. Vayakhel Moshe et kol adat b'nei Israel. Moshe gathers together the entire congregation. Vayomer el he tells them, Shabbat is coming. Although we have the great mitzvah, the construction of the Mishkan, the sanctuary, in which God will reside, His divine presence is Shekhinah. Nonetheless, you need to know, when Shabbat begins, we stop work. Because, Although building the Mishkan is important, there are some things which transcend it. And the holiness of the time of Shabbat transcends the holiness of the space of the Mishkan. And Moshe gathers together the entire congregation to convey this message. The second parasha, Pekudeh. Pekudeh means numbers. Moshe makes a calculation, he makes an accounting of all the donations that were made for the construction of the Mishkan. And this coming Shabbat, we won't come together as a Kahal and a Kehila in person. We won't be able to, via Kel Moshe et Kol Adat, to gather together the entire congregation. And we won't be numbered. We won't have Pekudim. We're going to be alone in our homes this coming Shabbat. But, as Moshe tells the people, there are some things which transcend the sanctity of the Mishkan, of the sanctuary. And the same applies for our synagogues. There are some things which transcend the importance of keeping our synagogues open in all circumstances. And that is the importance and the value we give to human life. Because, although... We enjoy coming together on a Shabbat, praying and studying together. And we know how important it is. There are some things which are more important. And so, this coming Shabbat, we won't be by Akel Pekude. We won't gather together and we won't be numbered. But, we will be numbered at home, each and every one of us. And you should know, we must always find the silver lining in incidents in our lives. And thinking about what's been happening and about the closure of our synagogues, I thought to myself, you know, during the rest of our lives, sometimes we make the mistake of confining HaKadosh Baruch Hu, confining God to the synagogue. We sometimes treat the synagogue as the place we, where we are Jewish. And then we leave the synagogue and we get on with our lives. This Shabbat we won't be able to do that. And this Shabbat the message is very clear. The message is we must find the synagogue inside the heart of each and every one of us. We have to stop going out to find that place. That place is within us. That's the Mishkan. Bilvavi Mishkan Evne. In my heart I will build a Mishkan. And that's what we need to do this coming Shabbat. Our physical kahal, we won't be able to come together in person, but we can certainly come together in spirit. We can be vayakel and we can be pekodei. We can come together as a congregation and be numbered and think of each other. And I want to say very clearly that both Tammy and I are here for the entire community. And of course, we are saddened by the fact we won't be able to join you this coming Shabbat, but I do plan in the coming days to
to send out regular messages of Torah, of inspiration, to keep up the sense of community and camaraderie which we have together as a community. And I want you to know, Kal Kadosh, that if you need anything, please do not hesitate to contact me, to contact uh, Tammy, to contact us at any time. The SMP as a community will be distributing Matzot and Pesach for those who need. But please feel free to contact me, to contact us at any time and to be in touch. I do want to keep the, co the connection and uh, I will be in touch in due course with regards to setting up a online uh, shiur remote uh, lectures so we'll be able to keep together the connection and continue to spend time and study together. And so on behalf of Tammy and myself, we wish you all a Shabbat Shalom, that you will enjoy the Shabbat at home and we'll take the messages of Ayakel and Pekude with us to think of the Mishkan that we can build in our hearts. And please God, we'll see each other in person very soon. All the best and Shabbat Shalom.